Hi, it's Christina Rilo, the queen of self-love, and I have something shocking to share with you. People out there who are looking for more love in your life, and who of us doesn't want a life full of love? Of course we do. But here's the problem. Most of us have severely stunted love quotients. It's true. Our capacity to actually receive love is totally stunted. In fact, if you had met me several years ago, before I started working on opening up my heart to receive love, my love quotient would have looked like this. My heart's ability to receive love, my love quotient, the size of a pea. The size of a pea! So when I manifested this fabulous love in my life named Noah, who I called walking love because he was so able to freely and fully love me, something I had yearned for for many years when I was in love-starved relationships with men who couldn't give me what I wanted or single and desperately wanting love, I had a love quotient that couldn't even receive it if it showed up. So when Noah walking love showed up for me, and this happens to a lot of us out there, you know, why are we not feeling and receiving the love and having the love that we want? Is because our hearts, like mine, were protected. Ha! This is what my heart really looked like when I first met Noah. See those walls of protection? No one getting in too close? When I met Noah, my warning signals went off. Warning, 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 Will Robinson, person about to intrude and get in too close to my heart. Because I was scared to death of being vulnerable. I was scared to death of being intimate. I was scared to death of being hurt. And that's what happens for you, for me, for everyone. We've created these walls of protection to protect our hearts because at some level we needed them. You've been hurt you've been betrayed, or maybe your innocence was smushed, or maybe your heart was broken. And so layer by layer, whether it's walls like mine, which were like Fort Knox, or a force field, or one of my clients had death shrouds wrapped around her heart, whatever your variety of how you protected your heart in, you could very well be pushing love away. And I don't want you to do that anymore because I know that you and me and us all, we want to be deeply loved. But if your heart is like this, and it's protected, there is no way for you to receive a fabulous, loving relationship with a romantic partner, with a circle of friends, or with yourself. So today I'm going to share with you three of the self-love dares that I used to build up my love quotient, right? Like going to a gym, building our muscles, or being a runner, and running up our stamina. You had to build up your love quotient. You had to build up your capacity to receive love day by day. So are you ready? Three ways that I dare you to start building up your love quotient so that you can fully receive love and so that your heart can look like this. This is what I want your love quotient to look like. Expanding into love. Fully expanding into love. This is a painting that I did this year to show my heart expanding into love. Okay, you ready? Okay, number one, here we go. Smile at strangers. Yeah, I know, it sounds crazy, but do it. Smile at strangers, at the barista, at people walking down the street, when you get onto an airplane and you look at your neighbor, smile at them. And I bet you 75% of them will smile back. And when they do, you know what I want you to do? I want you to keep smiling and let that love come into your heart. Just let it, feel it open, feel that your heart actually expanding. That is expanding your love quotient. And if they don't smile back because they're being grumpy or they're having a bad day or their hearts are just closed, don't take it personally. Instead, send them love anyway. Send them love, look away and put your hand on your heart and love yourself which is self-love dare number two, is to love yourself. Practice loving yourself. Okay, what does that mean? How do you do that? I know it can kind of be confusing, which is why in my book, Choosing Me Before We, I actually dedicated the first five chapters to the vows I think every one of us needs to take. And I'm going to give you one of those vows right now. When you take one of these self-vows, it does actually increase your love quotient just by taking the vow. So one vow that you can take right now is, I give myself unconditional love and respect. 
And to really take the vow, you say it three times. I give myself unconditional love and respect. I give myself unconditional love and respect. I give myself unconditional love and respect. And then you live it. And then you live it. So try that vow. Or take one of the five vows from Choosing Me Before We. Or you can go to chooseselflove.com and I actually have on there a mini guidebook that I've written that has a whole bunch of vows that you can get for free in the guidebook. So go there and get them. And whenever you're feeling that wavering, that love quotient starting to close up and shrink down to the P again, say the vow. Say the vow out loud. And that will continue to build your love quotient up. And that leaves us with the third self-love dare. And this one was inspired by my friend Marcy Shymoff, who wrote the book Love for No Reason. And this is all about opening up your heart to receive love. Marcy actually interviewed me for her book Love for No Reason because we love talking about receiving. And one thing that Marcy talked to me about we talked when we did the interview was that most people really stink at receiving the smallest amounts of love. So we want you to start by practicing the smallest amounts of love. For example, when you get a compliment and someone says, oh, that's a beautiful jacket that you have. And say the same, oh, this old thing, I've had it forever. That's not receiving love. Say, oh, you know, thank you, number one. And then build on it. Marcy says it takes 20 seconds to fully receive love and a compliment from somebody. So I might say, you know, I love this jacket. It makes me feel so sexy and cool and it's kind of funky. And I got it in Portland with my friend Cammie. And, you know, I go on and on. And you'll just feel your heart start to open. So use small things like compliments to open up to receive. Or if someone says, hey, can I help you? Can I help you pick up your luggage? Can I help you pull that bag into your car? Instead of closing down, open up and say yes. And every day, you will see your love quotient expand. Because the truth is, is that you want love in your life. And you can have it. But the only way that you can truly have great love in your life is by starting to open up your heart by starting to pull down those walls, so starting to trust love again. If you go to my blog on daretoliveyou.com, you'll see a whole bunch of other different ways that you can actually um, build your self-love quotient and your love quotient up. And just know that it's a step-by-step -step process, something you can do for the rest of your life and continue to expand. There's days even now when Noah, who I call walking love, shows up to love me and I'm like, oh, it's just kind of too much. And then I remember, oh, I made a promise to myself. I made a promise to expand into love. So in that moment, I say my mantra, which is, Christine, expand into love. Just like this picture. Just like this picture. So try that mantra on. And I wish you much, much love. Expand that heart, baby, into love. And you will be amazed at the love that you find surrounding you. Much love, everyone. Till next time.